In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate your mobile application user login and registration page with WordPress. Let's assume you have mobile application and you want uh, users who register with your app uh, to register uh, to become a registered user in your WordPress blog. Um, so I have created videos um, that show you how to create user login page and user registration page. In this video I'm not going to um, recreate it all over again. If you're interested to know how to create this flow please watch uh, my video and the link to that video I'm going to post in the description of this video below. There are other videos that I have also created and they show you how to store a user login details uh, with your um, custom server um, MySQL database and PHP and I have also recorded video that shows you how to store user uh, login details um, in um, parse uh, cloud service. This video is going to be only um, about WordPress. So let's assume you have your mobile app created and you have registration page. Now you want to send uh, email and password onto your server side and in this case it is a, a WordPress blog and you want to register a new user. So what do we need to do? Uh, well first of all we need to go to our WordPress and uh, create a new page. In the list of pages you want to create a new one. I'm not going to do it because I have done it and I called it register a new user example. So if I click on edit basically this is a new uh, WordPress page but for this WordPress page, we need to create a template. Um, well, these templates are created customly. So what you need to do, you need to open, uh, you need to create a new HTML file, I mean PHP file. And I have created one. Uh, I'm going to post this source code on my uh, Swift developer blog. So the important thing that this PHP file should have template name. Just like I have it here, please type it uh, template name register new user example. And what this PHP code does, it reads username and then it reads uh, user password from the request parameter. And I'm, I'm using HTML entities uh, to convert it to uh, uh, a safe to record into MySQL database uh, value. So basically we read username and we read password, uh, email, and then some um, server URL, display name, some of the parameters that your uh, registration form may submit. Now for WordPress, we also need author. Uh, well, an author is a role. I mean, it, there are multiple roles that we have when we uh, create a user and I'll show you uh, which ones. For example, if I go into where is it under users if I go under users there is only one user my WordPress has but if I create a new one and we will see that uh, a WordPress user can have a role of subscriber contributor author editor or administrator so only you know which what kind of user you want to create so for for this demonstration I've selected role an author okay back to our code so the next thing that I do, I basically check if uh, required fields are not empty because I do not want, WordPress will not accept if user password is empty or user email is empty. So, um, and these fields are pretty important. So um, if they're not, if they, if one of these fields is empty, I print out an error message. Uh, and this, uh, I, not, I, I, I sent out basically when you do echo, um, a JSON encoded value back uh, to a response, your mobile application will receive this response. Okay, the next thing that I want to do, I want to make sure that user does not exist. And I used function which is called username exist, and this is built in function that WordPress has. This is not my function. Uh, if when you upload this PHP code into WordPress, uh, or this function will work. If you run it on your computer, um, it will not work. So if this uh, username function uh, returns 
true that means user exists and we should not record that user again so uh, username is uh, a unique field if user does not exist we fall through and this is also a WordPress code basically what we do here we create a user data array which stores user uh, name as its uh, login uh, user URL and some of the these values can be hard coded. For example, user URL, uh, I uh, yeah I pass it as a parameter through from the registration form uh, and password, a user email uh, and um, display name. I have um, another WordPress function um, hash, but I've commented it out. I'm using it with a different example with, that I have down below. Just don't disregard it for now. So basically, we create user data, and then first thing we need to call, we need to use this WordPress built-in function called VP uh, WP underscore insert underscore user. And this one will create a new user, and the next line I'm creating a WordPress user object with the user ID which was returned from this function call. It it will be an ID of a newly created user. And then I update this object with a new role. So I first um, I record, and I, I actually uh, we supply role in here. So this one might not be necessary. Uh, that might be an extra, but if you want to set a different role, this is what you can do. So basically, when a user is created and ID is returned here, if ID is returned, if it's not empty, uh, our result is successful and the user is created and I output uh, back to mobile application a JSON um, encoded value, which is this array uh, that has status OK, uh, subscriber is created. Now, if I go on and I test this code, I'm not going to test it in my mobile app, but I will use browser window because uh, you can call this a function in, um, from Android, from web, from um, Windows phone uh, mobile application, iOS mobile application, you can use it anywhere. So um, um, the code is published under swiftdeveloperblog.com and uh, this page, if you remember, um, I think this is it, uh, this uh, page has URL. Um, check if user exists oh no actually I'm sorry this page is um, different this one is register new user so it has register new user uh, example and the template name is register new user example here and this template name is the name that I have in my uh, comments here register new user PHP register new user example so when I upload this PHP code it will be available here under templates so I need to select this one and then when I publish it it will become available and I can access it through a web browser so what I do I uh, type URL to that page and then I simply um, continue with my uh, parameters URI username equals James user password plain text bold bond uh, WordPress will encode this uh, plain text password into uh, proper value so you don't have to encode it here uh, and then user email jamesbond.com user URL uh, mywebsite.com and then display name James Bond so when I hit enter, I get a new user created and I get a proper JSON uh, code back, subscriber is created. Now when I go to my WordPress under users, I should get a new user here, James, and the role is author. James, the uh, username is James and the, the, the role is author. And everything is set. So now, uh, when I go into, uh, for example, if I want to check if it works, I will create a new incognito window, and then I'll go to Swift Developer Block WordPress Admin, and it will ask me to log in. And I will log in with James, and the password is Bond. 
here we go it worked okay now um, we I did show you how to register a new user now let's see how to check if new user exists so uh, when you uh, and this is for your login page because in my example I we can register and then we can log in so a we'll login page when you sub, when you tap on the login button will send HTTP request to our um, new to our check user password example PHP and again that will be a WordPress template temp page I'm sorry uh, you will need to create a new page under pages and um, I have created one it's called check if user exists when you create this uh, page make sure you create a template for it and the way you create templates is by creating a new PHP page and here under template name you type check username and password this name will appear under your template name check username and password uh, then you upload this PHP code into your WordPress I'll show you uh, a little bit later how to do it and it becomes your template page okay so how do we log in user um, so basically we need to check if our user if submitted username and password is correct and this user is found in our WordPress what we do in our PHP code we receive username and password and then we make sure these values are not empty and then there is a built-in WordPress function called get user by um, built-in WordPress function so I call it submitting a login it's a key and then username which I receive as a request parameter and then again uh, everything below is a WordPress WordPress check password WordPress check password is a built-in WordPress function and it accepts user password that user submitted here and then it matches it with the user password and user ID which is in the database so if this if statement is successful if it returns true then user exists and we can print out a JSON encoded value uh, uh, and return it back to our mobile application otherwise we say user is not found so I do have this code uploaded into my WordPress and here a uh, Swift developer block check if user exists so if I type user James and password bond and hit enter it says user exists but if I pa type password any other password bond 3 it will say user is not found so it works user exists so it works so how do you upload um, this to uh, pages into your WordPress well I do it using uh, FTP client uh, I do it FTP client and um, uh, you will need your um, IP, ad IP address of your uh, blog and you will need your password and um, where do you get this well I get it from GoDaddy if you log in into your um, GoDaddy uh, manage hosted websites and go into settings you will find um, username and password for your FTP account I'm not going to do it on video because that will expose my user details um, but I assume you know how to do that uh, and basically and then you can use any uh, uh, like I use uh, FileZilla um, as my FTP client and I will uh, quickly connect and then I will go into uh, WordPress content and I'll go into themes and I will go into uh, the theme that, that's currently active and he and this is the folder that I want to upload my two 
uh, PHP files and this one is um, it's called check if user check user password example upload here and um, register and then register new password I've uploaded here and this is it um, I hope this video was helpful and um, if uh, you have questions please comment uh, um, below and I will do my best uh, to help you out if, if it doesn't work for some.